heading to uh, High Falls and Cat Mountain this morning by Wanakina. Short drive from home. <clears throat> like a good day. It's supposed to be pretty hot, humid, but I'll be all right. Be in shade. Head down this trail, head up to Cat Mountain first, then over to High Falls. Take the loop around and come out down the road a little bit. Come along here, just over a mile in. Uh, this way, trail here straight ahead is the, the trail, but sometimes it's flooded down there from beavers. But there is a short, I don't want to call it a shortcut trail, but a detour. Takes some time, it goes up that way. Uh, let me check this out. I think it'll be all right now in the middle of summer. Pretty out here. Got all the marshland and everything, but yeah, sometimes this will be flooded over. Looks to be okay right now. And the other trail goes right uh, toward the end of the swamp, that right around there. Through those trees. That's a nice camping spot here. Somebody got that decked out for a little while. Alright, we're about three miles in. Okay, 2.8 according to sign. Alright. Making pretty good time, just about an hour. A little less than an hour. So I'm gonna keep going. It's been a pretty mellow trail through the woods. And Hill Junction. Here we're going to go up there, up the Cat Mountain. And come back down and continue on this way over toward High Falls. Next trail junction. Take a right, head that way on the Cranberry Lake 50 trail. Or go the way we're going, up the Cat Mountain, another three quarters of a mile. Not terribly steep, but enough with this humidity. Cool trail though. Kind of uh, moderate I would say. The humidity and the mosquitoes. That's what gets me the most. Get into our uh, last push to the summit of the Cat Mountain here. Get the bottom of these cliffs, just a little climb. Just a short little walk over to the cool summit.
Cat Mountain Summit. Not a big mountain, but really great views and an hour and 55 minutes up here. So it doesn't take too long. I to mention one other thing on the way up here. If you're the first one up here in the morning, uh, you'll be clearing a lot of spider webs off of you. The way down there. Yeah, great views up here. Okay, it was uh, five and a half miles up here. Cat Mountain, it's uh, about another four and a half over to High Falls. I think we had a beaver dam crossing or two there along the way, so I'm gonna head on out, head over that way. All right, back to our trail junction. Sandhill Junction, finish with Cat Mountain. We're now gonna head down to High Falls, three miles from here. And pretty gentle stretch of trail. Wow. This is all washed out. Uh, I've seen all bear like this before. Power of Mother Nature. Deep murky water there though. Of prime twos along this uh, secondary trail. For some reason, I remember this. Uh, I remember being trail around this log last time. Pick up a little balancing stick. Much good this one too, but as long as I don't move my balance. Our trail. Yeah, it's my deep murky water there. I don't want to fall in there. Okay, somehow I must have missed part of the trail, and that's why I went over the log. This trail does go around that because there's the actual trail there. Goes around that, comes this way. Just go either way. Okay, we made it through this stretch, and we're going to take a left here and go up to High Falls. 
And our sign says uh, 0.4 miles. So that's pretty quick. It's relatively flat. Now we'll come back this way and head on out to Wanakina, 8.6 miles, according to the sign. The old logging equipment from back in the day. Hmm. And here's the top of High Falls. Wherever I go, there used to be a bridge here. Water comes out of the Five Ponds Wilderness and funnels down through here. Goes over the falls there. the highest falling waterfall but it's called high falls because it's at the uh, highest point in elevation in the county okay done with this creek uh, about 25 minutes of high falls here snacking enjoying the weather enjoying the views and head on back now Back up here to the main trail and on out, which is about nine miles, and uh, two beaver dams. Uh, I like this trail here. Old pine needles, nice cushioning. Like a day at the spa for my feet compared to my hike last week. We got another beaver dam here. Throw my crocs along, but I don't think I'm going to use them right here. See what it looks like? Looks okay, mostly. I'm going to get wet anyway. Bouncing act on these logs and stuff. Not make it through without too much trouble. Who knows? Either that or I'll just have wet feet. Alright. We head that way. That's our Falls Loop slash Cranberry Lake 50 trail that way. Over here, also a trail junction for some other locations. A little camping, fishing, hunting. Another beaver dam area that we're getting lucky at. It's not flooded over at all. See what this extra trail brings. This looks pretty swampy and nasty. I'm 
I'm going to get here with dry feet too much. That's just going to happen. That's too much all the way around. I don't know. I'm right on the edge of this beaver dam right here. get somewhat lucky. This is the one a few years ago there was a beaver when he was building this up swimming right next to me over here. Fresh cut trees. Well, it wasn't that bad. amount of frogs today. No deer, no moose, no beavers. Yeah. It just looks like a <clears throat> kind of crazy one. A little bit dryish, but I'm gonna go for a swim in there. People going, are they going this way? That's the trail. Just about there. Out there now, my feet are gonna get soaking wet. <laughs> oh. Last 15 feet. Check out High Rock over here, little campsite. We had about a mile left. Uh, most of the trail since a uh, high rock has been uh, like this here. Pretty flat.
a little deep here. Oh no frog. I'm not gonna bother you. I'll get through this last half mile of water. No way around not walking through the water on this trail. Oh, a little dry patch. Just a patch though. Alright, made it through the other trail register here. We didn't sign in at this one, so. Continue right out this gate right here at the road and hang a right and head on back to where I'm parked. Okay, back to sign out. We finished our hike. Uh, 8 hours 37 minutes. 21 and 3 quarters miles. Uh, it's a good day. Could have done without the mosquitoes, but other than that, pretty good. <laughs>